Let's talk motorcycles for a second. Ooh. Yeah, Ooh. there we go. Mm. Ooh. <laughs> Tell me, when did you first fall in love with the two wheel devil? Um, I've always, I've always wanted to ride, and I never, you know, never had the guts to like actually go get my license and and you know do that. But once COVID hit, um. I just got the, I just got the bug. I just got the itch. Like I was like, I gotta, I gotta do this. So I, you know, I went and took a motorcycle course, like a weekend course, uh, took the test, failed the first time, totally. failed the second time. Ooh. I think I'm a little dyslexic. So I, you know, I, when you they mean, ask you these stupid questions that are, you know, that they're that, like made to make you, they're yeah. made to mess you up. And yeah. like, I, I took the bait every time. And then, and then the, <laughs> been, um, been there. Yeah. And then, you know, you, you get three chances to, to do it. I just hate when it's like, yeah. it can be C and D C and D. And then you're like, well, why would they put C and D if it wasn't C and D? Exactly. Yeah. You know, I was like, okay, we'll go with that one then. Hell yeah. Um, so I, I luckily I passed th the third time and uh, I connected with Brock and we were talking about Harley Davidson and, and, you know, getting, getting some kind of a, you know, hook up with them. And then, uh, um, yeah, they I, had, they had programs at the time to yeah, give loaner bikes to people. Right. Around. And then yeah. I got introduced to Sean, who's, uh, you know, who's head of the, uh, you know, the influencer team over at Indian motorcycles and um, Brock and I were talking at the time and we, both got bikes from them yep. and uh we started this gang called the cute boy biker gang true story a lot of a lot of cute boys a lot of cute yeah. boys in there oh, um, yeah, yeah. yeah you have to have a beard though to be in it so okay. true yeah. and, a, and a bike and a bike yeah oh, i mean that's that's obvious that's the only two requirements actually. um actually to be on this podcast you have to have a beard so true well yeah. i don't have a bike but i got the beard you got so. the beard yeah <laughs> you got the beard um yeah so you know brock and i just started will's a honorary cute boy Oh wow! Thank you. That's a <laughs> honor of a lifetime, right you, there. You can there join you. our gang. You can join our gang. <laughs> Thank you're in. you. You can yeah. ride doubles. Yeah, <laughs> as they say, nuts to butts. We have to jump you in though, and you don't want to hear how that happens. So <laughs> let's yeah. we'll say that for another conversation. Yeah. Um, the initiation. Yeah, initiation. <laughs> gang initiation. Mm. So yeah, we started. Yeah, we started riding for Indian and um, uh, taking trips together and riding around Malibu and. You know, I'll go meet him at his place and yep. he has this like this route that we take. Then we and, like we always do this route. We go. He drives like a madman. Um, safely, safely, safely. Of uh, course, of course. Uh, I'll, I'll the never, cameras are on. Bro. Yeah, yeah. I'll never forget the first time I rode a bike with, with Brock. We met up with Sean and we were down in like the where were we? Laguna Beach or where does he live? Uh, uh, I think maybe we went to Newport, Newport, some, yeah. somewhere down there. I've never, I've ridden a bike like on the street and like in a safe environment and all that, but I'd never like taken a bike on the, on the street yet. First thing we do is, is he takes me right on the freeway <laughs> and, oh, God. I, and I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm literally like, I'm, uh, this is, this is the day I die. This is it. And I'll, I'm like on this little, little, like str barely street legal bike. And these guys got these huge motorcycles and I'm just like, fuck man. I'm, I, that was Sean's little, like, uh, it was like, it was, it was like initiation. It was my like gang yeah. initiation. See yeah, if yeah. I could see if I could, hang. I would not have rode that on the freeway. To dude, be I, dude, it it's, was like, it's, cr it's crazy. On the freeway. It's crazy. When you get on a freeway, you, you like, cause when you're on a car on a freeway, you don't understand like the pressure of like a semi coming by you or like another oh, car yeah. coming by, right. but you feel everything on that bike when you're on the freeway. Um, and so that was, so it's a, it's, it was, I can't remember what bike it was. I know it was cause it was like years ago now, but it was a very light bike. Yeah. And yeah. when it's light, it's, it's easier um, to maneuver, which is great. But on the freeway, it's, I would say you, I wouldn't recommend it because it's very easy. Like you yeah. said, a semi, a big gust of wind will come in. Brock and, and was like, like wobble. <laughs> Brock yeah. was like my, my angel. He was like, he was in front of me, like stopping traffic in the free, like, middle yeah. of the freeway, you know, letting cars go, stopping cars and like, making sure I can get over. Like, <laughs> yeah, it was, it was great. Um, uh, the, the footage I've seen from like the trips. Yeah. I mean, it looks so amazing. I mean, just yeah. being out there yeah. and like, I love easy rider. I love that film. Yeah. And like, mm. it reminds me of all that. It's, it's so much fun. It's, it is another thing like acting. It's a freedom, you know, and it's a, something that forces you to be present. You know, you have to be present yeah. when you're acting as well, but it's just, there's something about writing that if, if it hooks you in, yeah. you're not getting out. Yeah, you can't. And you can't I will never recommend someone to start writing. But if you get the bug, you get the bug. And yeah. riding with you, riding with so many friends who are, are that were at the time beginners or are beginners now that I've ridden with, I had this innate 
need to protect people. Yeah. Like, and so, like you were saying, I don't give a crap if it's a if it's a fleet of cops behind me. If you're not getting through safe, I'm yeah. stopping them. It doesn't matter to me. Yeah. I, I will I will cut people off. I'll do whatever I got to oh, do man. because at the end of the day, your safety and your health right. and, and that moment is way more important than breaking a couple laws. Like exactly. Say, obviously, you don't break laws, but no. if it comes to your life and that. I'm going to keep you safe, buddy. Right. I'm, right. And I, and I trust you. <laughs> I normally don't go on the freeway without him. So, and then just the other day we, we did a freeway ride and I'd never, uh, split lanes before, you know, like that's, that's always been like a no, no for me. I'm like, I'll, I'll do the freeway. I'm not doing that shit. I would I, never. Like, that's so like, <sighs> how great was but, it? And so, for, yeah, obviously Brock, first thing he does is just. I did it. Split so I'm always, I'm, you have to be aware of everything, but I'm always hyper aware when I'm riding with someone. So I'm constantly checking the mirror and everything around me at all right. times. So right. I know where every single car is at all times. I have to, I'm always looking to see what Casey's doing, you know, and, and whoever's with me. Right. So I cut the first one and he kept right up and I'm like, Oh, I guess we're going to do this. Cause I wouldn't have kept going if it yeah. wasn't the case. So, so yeah, you're kind of like, I'm not going to leave him in the dust. Right. But we did that. And then he kept up, man. And yeah. We went the whole way. The let's whole say way. we, uh, we, we got somewhere that was 30 minutes and, uh, 16. So yeah, we got, we cut the time in half. So. Yeah. Well, the LA freeways are no joke. Like, yeah. like compared to the rest of the country, they're extremely busy, large, you know, fast, but like California does have, roads like the one and you know if you go up past like malibu yeah I mean, those roads are like beautiful yeah. we do a lot of Ma mahalan riding uh we go up, up to this place malibu. called what the old, old, pl place? old place yeah yeah, yeah it's like that's like our the steak sandwiches off the charts oh man that sounds good yeah it's so good it's in their massive portions right can i follow you guys in my car 100 oh, <laughs> yeah that's great absolutely great we'll driving for that. cars too yeah, yeah. yeah. No, it is good drive we should do that one day it'd be awesome i'll yeah. throw in a podcast and just yeah. follow <laughs> you ever think you do a, a big trip a long trip a couple thousand miles yeah i would love to yeah yeah, the, yeah. yeah i i would i would love to do that um just gotta find someone crazy enough to want to do that I think you got don't, one. don't you know i'm local <laughs> <laughs> it'll be fun dude thank you for watching don't forget to drop a like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe and hit the bell for a whole lot more to come Thanks for tuning in to Studio 22.